Hi and welcome to my channel, my name is Magnus and today we're going to talk about interfaces and SNMP. So if you're running an open server and you have multiple interfaces, let's say 1 gig, 10 gig and 25 gigs, have you noticed that within SNMP the interface description will change after a reboot? This is really really annoying because if you set up monitoring on your checkpoint that you should do, if you're polling the incorrect things or if you're polling what most pollers do, you will have issues each time you reboot the box. And to fix this reorder issue, there is an SK and the SK is 71600. So this is describing on how to, well, fix this. So you can see here, if you're running an SNMP walk, you see that it's in, in not in order. So it can be like, here you have one order and then you reboot and then you have a different order. So these ones, they are not the same all the time. And this can, this can interfere with your monitoring. So me, for example, I didn't know this. This was my colleague Hasse that told me. Um, so I always needed to like remake weather maps and so on each time we rebooted or ha have a failover. And if you have that too many times and you have too many boxes, well, you get tired of it and your monitoring will suffer. And if your monitoring will suffer, you don't really know if you have issues. So this is a great way to actually fix this. And the SK is, of course, telling you why this is happening. And this is because of uh, Linux kernel, whatever, whatever. It's referring to kernel 2.6, but it's the same, same pattern within 3.10 as well. So it's also affecting the later versions. So I think that the checkpoint should just update this and include 3.10. If you check for the SK itself, it's including the newer versions. And these versions are running on Linux kernel 3.10. So if we go back down here, we see the solution to do this is actually to change a file and then just reboot the, the box. And then it should delay start of interfaces and it will start in correct order. So if we log into VSX Gateway, we just type the SNMP walk. So we see that we have this list and we see all the different type of interfaces that we have. And you see SNMP minus V, and then 2C is the SNMP version. And then minus C, and then you put the community. And I have, um, well, filter it out here because this is a production box. And then you just type localhost, IF, MIB, and then we filter on the interface description. So then we can see here that we have all the different type of strings. And you see that it's not really in order. I mean, if you want interface 1, it would map to... to uh, uh, loopback and then interface 2 it will map to like ethernet 2. So what we're going to do is to change this file and we will just add the different type of drivers that we have here. But before that we need to check like which sort of drivers do we have for our interfaces and that we can do with ethernet tool. So if you run ethernet tool uh, on the different interfaces and I have like two or four um, I have different types. So I have 10 gigs interfaces, I have 1 gig interfaces, and I have onboard. So you need to check a few of them, especially if you have multiple types of interfaces. So you see here the driver is IXGBE for the Ethernet 1. So that's actually a 10 gig interface. But the Ethernet 4 is a different type of interface. You see the driver is TG3. And then we take a later one, like, I don't know, 12 14 or something this should this should have a different one as well i believe that i have three different types uh, this is also 10 gif 3 so just check later let's take 14 and this is an igb so that's a, um, a gig interface so what we will do now is more or less you need to map like yeah we have ethernet one and it has an IXGBE. So that's the driver number one. And then we have, for example, Ethernet 4. It has a TG3. So that's the driver number two. And then we have the Ethernet 14. That's the e EGB. So that's driver number three. So in this specific box, we have three different sort of drivers. And why I call them driver one, two, and three, you will see in the file, we need to change it and we need to put the specific order. So if we go back to the SK itself, 
you see here that we have installer driver 2 and then driver 1 so that's why it's important to figure out like which driver do you want to start first and this will be different depending on what sort of interfaces that you have but you need to just check and of course before you do this one and if you're running um, uh, open servers make sure to fix your 00 dev file uh, so the interface order doesn't change after reboot as well and that the interface order is correct so first fix the 00 dev file and then uh, do the the SNMP part so what I'm referring to when changing names on open servers it's the SK69621 and this is just telling you that you need to check this file and to have the order of interfaces that you want so you can see here like the interfaces are uh, based on an order and you can change this if it's booting up incorrectly if you're running on appliances you will not have this issue but open servers can be a bit tricky so just make sure to fix this before you actually fix the SNMP part just keep in mind the server need to be rebooted the open server has to be rebooted in order for the change to take effect so fix this one first then do the SNMP part so there will be two reboots to actually fix this issue and a side note because it's listed here in the SK um, regarding the SNMP part when it comes to VLANs and so on it's um, well you cannot guarantee it because it's it's not actually pointed to a specific driver and so on but so far it has worked good for me by the way they have actually added uh, applies to Gaia 3.10 so scratch what I did say but um, it was not listed above but here it also applies to 3.10 so we go back here and now we need to add the extra uh, part so we need to install the different type of drivers and I think I will just put up in the display here so it's easier to see what I'm talking about the driver 1 and driver 2 but remember we have the driver 2 and that's from was from Ethernet 4 uh, and I believe that was the, let's just check, I think that was the TTG3 or IGB. I told you, you need to write it down so you need to, so you know which interface in which order it is. But we can go back and just check to make sure. So Ethernet driver 1 is IXGBE and uh, driver 2 will be TG3, so we will start with TG3. So we just add TG3 and then we do the S bin and slash mod probe and then we have the IXGBE and then we do the, I don't know what this sign is called, column with the, I don't know, nut <laughs> and then sleep 5, I think this is uh, seconds, I'm not really sure, we just follow the SK. If you can read SKs you will be fine with checkpoint. Just know how to Google and how to search the user center. It's a lot easier then. And then we need to put driver 2 again. So we need to put the, the TG3. So you see here you have driver 2. Then you have driver 1 and di driver 2. So, so it's a bit, so it's a bit uh, annoying. And you need, to have, um, you need to think about what you're doing more or less. So as we have more than 2 we need to have one more line so if you have even more than than three drivers you need to add lines so this is an example on how to do it with three so we will change this line to driver three and that was the igbe igb igb let's check i think it's i think it's igbe or igb so it's igb i never know this I mean it's too many acronyms and there is a different one for 40 gigs as well so you just need to to do the eth tool and see which type of driver you're using there are a few different ones so here i think we have the final result so we have the driver 2 driver 1 then we have driver 2 again driver 3 driver 2 and driver 3. it's a bit insane but uh, that's how it is just follow the sk and it will be just fine um so I, th I think this file is okay but we need we need to take it out again so we can uh, actually well copy it to the other member so we don't need to redo this again so just copy the the lines that we just did it will be the same for uh all did i mistype anything no it looks correct yeah 
Uh, so we just copy this one so we can put it in member two. So copy paste. Strange that it's blinking over the three. Ah, doesn't matter. Um, it will be the same file on the other member. So so it's easy and you should of course have your members the, the same way. So you, you should have the same number of interfaces in the same order. If you don't have it in the same order and uh, you have different type of interfaces in your in your clusters, well, <laughs> you make it hard for yourself. So just make it easy for yourself. And I don't know if you if you notice here, but we have more interfaces. So the the alias for the Ethernet uh, zero to three is not included here. I don't know why, but um, there are more interfaces. So there are zero to fifteen. So there is sixteen interfaces in this box. So what we will do now is that we will, uh, yeah, we can do an SNMP check again. And this is just to show you that you actually need to reboot the box before this takes effect. So just changing this file will not do anything. So you can actually change this file uh, on normal days. It doesn't really matter. And when you're ready, you just reboot and then it will be fixed. So reboot is normally done during service window. By the way, this SNMP work locally. It's quite nice if you want to try some output and uh, you're trying to fix your monitoring. Fixing monitoring in, in checkpoints and so on can be quite uh, tiresome, I would say. So let's just reboot this box and then we will see the difference because then it will list uh, Ethernet 1 on description 2. So let's see. And as always, when you do a reboot of a cluster, I like to do the watch command. And you can take minus D to actually highlight CPH probe. Yeah. So you can take minus D to actually highlight changes that are made. And I will just put the, the two uh, members next to each other here. So we see the, the differences. And of course, I will fast forward. You don't want to wait for an open server to reboot. It takes, well, it takes a few minutes. Um, so when this is back up, we should see a difference. Um, I don't know if you remember this, but maybe I can put it in the, in the video. Let's see. So the box is now uh, up and running. So you see that it's active standby. So if we do the SNMP walk again, then we should see that it's a different order from before. So again, SNMP walk, and then you have the version 2C, and then you have the community minus C, and then it's localhost. And we want to filter for a specific, I think it's called MIB. Um, and we want to filter for the IF description. So just enter here, and we can see that the order is now changed. So you have a loopback, and then you have Ethernet 0 to uh, 15 in order. That's a big difference from what it was before. And if we just do it here, you can see the difference. I mean, this is not the same box, but I think it was about the same. Um, so when you have done this file now, it will not change every time you reboot because before it did change every time you reboot and it's super annoying. So let's do the watch minus D and then CPH probe stat and just check that, uh, well, it comes back up. Hopefully it does. I mean, this is uh, VSX with VSLS, so the V, so the VS instances or the V, the VS, they should move between the different clusters. So I mean, if you don't have super super critical uh, things going in your box, this can be done during daytime. But that's about how you're, how you're allowed to do your service windows and when you're allowed to do work. Uh, normally, I try to do this before you take something into production, but this is of course something that can be missed and you can do it after. So it's not the end of the world if you do it after. Um, it may screw up some of your like uh, uh, SNMP um, references, like maybe you lose some data because it's used different uh, uh, IF names and so on. But um, well, fix this before if you want to have correct data. Okay, so the box is uh, on the way up now because it's active standby. So let's just log in and check that it has changed. So the order is correct on both members. So just copy this command again. 
and then we do a, a connection again and just paste it and it should be correct now. So now this is also changed. So you see that it's in the correct order. So everything is hunky dory. So I think this is it for this video. I don't know if this is included in any certification course or whatever, but this is, I would say best practice. So this is something that you should fix. And this is um, more common if you're running open service. I don't, I don't have so many appliance boxes. So I don't know if it's an issue in an appliance box, but at least for open servers, you need to make sure to fix your interface order. And then you need to make sure to fix the, the SNMP part. So your monitoring and your, well, your boxes work as they should do. And that you actually get data for it because you need the data to be able to show like, this is how the, the health of my system is. If you don't have, well, any reference points and so on, it's really hard to know if you are either under attack or when you're going to do a budget or whatever. So don't skip out on monitoring and uh, running your your boxes in uh, best practice so to say so thank you for watching and i hope to see you next one take care